Hello everybody and welcome back to Reforged Eden 2. On our playthrough currently, we are just taking a breather. Uh, just trying to comprehend everything that's happened so far. Um, you know, we, we did get a haircut apparently. Uh, I'm not quite sure where or, or how, but we, we did. Um, yeah, so uh, where are we up to? So we do need to reach the, the uh, trade station, uh, which is three clicks in the east. So I guess we put our helmet on and we set off towards the trade station. Um, just need to gather myself a little bit to find out where we actually are, uh, because it has been a, a bit since we played Reforged Eden. Uh, well, Reforged Eden... Or Reforged Eden 2, for that matter. Um, yeah, okay. So, we've actually got nothing in the Blueprint Factory at the moment. Um, I think we might start working towards... Um, I suppose we should have a little base, really, shouldn't we? Uh, fuel tanks, oxygen station, armor locker... Generator, hydroponics, small constructor, cargo box, planar extension, medical device, food processor. I can't remember what else we need. Possibly some solar panels, sentry guns, uh, turrets. That's possibly everything that we do need. No, it's not. Ammo box and yeah, the standard. Uh, where are we? Hang on. Ammo box there. And then the MISC. Master trans transceiver and a ventilator. Okay, um, we will put this in the factory and we will start working towards uh, this bit of a base, I think. Just a bit of a sponge as well for everything that we've got. We are going to need to start um, thinking about setting up base of operations because we're running out of space. Uh, let's put everything in the fridge. We don't currently need. Aspirator we don't really. Uh, okay, storage box so we can put you in there. What are we doing for fuel? Not too bad. Not too bad. Okay, well, uh, let's head off towards the trade station. Have a little bit of a ping on the way, see if there's anything exciting that we see. Yeah, so I don't know whether we should work towards a, um, a mining SV, which I suppose would make sense in the first instance, but I think we do need copper. Uh, not copper, sorry, cobalt. So the, the SV I think we'll probably work towards is uh, this one, the Randall XR. Um, this is one that Jeff Randall built. I can't remember what he called it originally. Bombers. We got here quick. Uh, there's nothing on my radar. What the hell, Ida? My apologies, Commander. It was an attempt at humour. I will refrain from attempting it again. Please do, because you actually panicked me then. Yeah, maybe you should reduce your humour parameter a bit. I almost shat myself. Yes, yes, yes we did. With you and I. I can confirm that no bombers have launched and the skies are clear, Commander. You are free to proceed. No need. Absolutely no need. Uh, ooh, tr nice new looking trade station. Well, we're here, there's a hangar on each side, which look to be open to ground vehicles, so I guess that's my way in. Correction, you are there, Commander. I'm simply observing your surroundings using the sensors on your suit. And the thrusters off. Okay. 
Um, yes, so where was it? Yes, this uh, this SV miner. So this is one that Jeff Randall built. I think he called it the Scarab, mainly, uh, possibly, sorry. Um, I've put it through the chop shop, uh, made a few alterations, and I've called it the Randall XR in homage to Mr. Randall himself. Uh, it's a fantastic little, a little SV miner, and it's relatively cheap. Um, the only downside is that we do need some cobalt. Uh, I need to unlock all these as well. I should have probably done this before I unlocked all of the uh, <laughs> the base ones, really. But uh, hey ho, hey ho. So we don't need. Okay. So we can unlock that without unlocking the small. That saved us a few points. I wonder if that's a bit of a glitch. I don't know. We'll take it, though. We will absolutely take it. Uh, harvest. Mechanical drill. I don't know what else we need for this one. Landing gears, ramps, container extensions. Uh, container extensions are there. Landing gears are there. Armored cockpit. Ramps, ammunition, controller, locker, and Gatling gun. Um, ammunition, controller. Ah, balls. Wasn't the turrets. Gatling guns. Uh, CPU we don't need. What else was it? Oh, armor locker and ramps. I'll lock it into there. Ramps are there. Fantastic. Okay, so let's add you to the factory. They've got some cobalt in them. Ooh, fantastic. Peter? Nope. Some of this iron in there. Yeah, okay. Well, it's a start. So we've got somewhere we can start dumping some materials anyway, uh, which is good. You in there. Don't need you. Don't need you. Definitely don't need you yet. Okay. Trading floor, here we go. Uh, cue the music change. Oh, it didn't. It's good to see modern civilization. Even if it's not our own, it looks like it's got the usual amenities of home. One would assume that the shopkeepers would be most likely to know if anyone had seen any humans any time in the last decade. Your best bet would be to ask one of them. Or ask any of them. That's some of the new posters. They look cool. Hello, sir. Welcome to Servant Court Outfitters, where we only sell the latest in suit enhancements and attachments, so if you need anything, I am your servant. Um, Seen any humans around here? Humans? Oh, Terrans. From the United Command of the Homeworld, right? We had a few Terrans in a month ago uh, to buy some spacesuits and drop off a shipment of radiation shielding. They came in on their own ships. We get fairly regular shipments from them every six months. I'm, af I'm afraid I don't know where they come in from or where they go once they are here, where once they leave here. You should try one of the other shops here. Maybe they know something. Thank you for your help, sir. Do you have anything for sale? Uh, Multi-tool. Nothing really we can sell either. That's fine. Don't be so aggressive. Yep. Model bikes, that's cool. This Grinning Studios. Entertainment and Media. My kind of store. Hello, sir. GS Entertainment. Welcome to GS Entertainment. We're a leading retailer of the latest video games, anime, collectibles, and card games. We also broker deals between avid collectors and hold TGC tournaments, TCG tournaments on the weekends. 
trading card games. I think that is, isn't it? Um, I'm here to complete my collection. Ah, okay. Okay, so we can collect trading cards now. That's cool. Okay. Take that. Um, let's carry on. Seen any humans around here? Nerd. <laughs> He's a nerd. I'm a nerd. It's okay. Uh, I don't think we have any human cards yet. Maybe they're in the next booster pack coming out in a month. Oh, sorry. You're asking if I'd seen any 3D humans. No, we only opened a store here a year ago. You should try the layover. They've been here for years, and anyone visiting the station without their own ships has to stay there. Thanks, nerd. The layover. Hi, and welcome to the layover. We supply clean and spacious rooms for any visitors for an affordable price. Now, how can I help you? Uh, seen any humans? Have any humans stayed here? Humans? Ah, yes, your kind aren't very common around here. So, I know humans have stayed here a couple of times in the past. Let me check my records. There's a few records over the last few years of brief stopovers by your people. The earliest record shows that several dozen humans arrived here almost four years ago. That was before I started working here, but it says they had several meetings with Administra Administrator Pavrov before leaving on a pair of chartered shuttles. Do the records say where they went? I'm sorry, but the records don't have that kind of detail. They only list the reasons for a guest stay. It's actually a miracle that the receptionist here back then filled out the comment section at all. You might want to ask Administrator Pavrel over in the administration and security booth across the trading floor for more. He's been here for years, trying to get a transfer off this world. He's a bit of a jerk, but he's not terrible. It looks like he's just finished a call with someone. So you better hurry and get him before he gets another one. Thanks for your help. There appear to be many complaints about him in the private messages of the station's personnel. I'm detecting a large amount of traffic from the administrator's terminal, but my access is blocked by a high-order AI. Okay, Ida. Administrator. I see you've finished hassling the station staff. I was getting tired of watching your bumbling around, obstructing productivity and being a general nuisance. Are you aware you're costing the company credits for your careless, uh, ceaseless interruptions? I'm sure I could assist you with what you're after if you're willing to pay for it. I'm trying to find the rest of my people. I will tell you that they were here four cycles ago and that they made a deal for safe passage off this planet. However, anything more than that would be confidential information, only accessible to, to Polaris employees, of which you are not. Don't even consider begging or threatening me for information. I will have station security on you before you can unholster your weapon. He's a jerk, isn't he? Or I could punch you in the face just for the fun of it. I wouldn't recommend that. You wouldn't like the experience. Oh, I'm sure you'd enjoy the brief elation of punching me in the face before you're shot in the head by station security. That would cause more problems for me. But it wouldn't be any of your concern anymore, would it? But if you still insist, go right ahead. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's not do that. All right, you've made your point. I'm glad you see reason. I'd hate to have to call the cleaners, but I want to. Uh, but I want you cannot provide. But, oh, but what I want you cannot provide. You're a useful step on the road to getting me what I want. Are you aware of the station uh, situation between Polaris and the Xerax? What am I saying? No, of course you're not. But this is where you can be useful to us. According to my superiors, provided you follow the script we set you. What kind of script are we talking about here? Let me explain the situation in terms you can understand, all right? Polaris Megacorp is the greatest economic power in this galaxy, and formerly a subsidiary of the Trade Federation. Up until a century ago, when we broke away as an independent power following the War of Silence. 
Xerax are our major consumer of raw materials, but as we've been exhausting the deposits on our own quadrant of space, the depleted Xerax have failed to utilize the resources in territory that they've refused to give us, uh, give up the rights to, and can barely sustain an active presence over. What does any of this have to do with me? Let me finish explaining before you interrupt with your inane questions. You are clearly not Pren, and have no ties to the corporation or to any local faction, save your UCH Navy. Those lack of connections make you a useful tool for disrupting Xerox control over certain territories and planets without any repercussions for the company. So a rogue. Nomad. So we are nomad. You are free to move in, harass the Xerox, which I'm sure you don't mind doing considering what they did to your people, and leave the depopulated territory to the company to move in and set up. What would you call it? Humanitarian aid for the survivors of your vicious random attack? And what do I get out of this? What you get out, what you get is the next step of your journey towards your missing people, and of course, as an employee of Polaris, you're entitled to pay on some benefits, healthcare, dental, employee discounts, the usual. Since you have a little choice in the matter, uh, why don't you just agree already? It's just, I've just forwarded the agreement to your support AI to sign on your behalf. Hurry and get it over with since your first assignment is time sensitive. Ida, did you receive the contract? Anything I should worry about? I did, Commander. Aside from an attempt to slip in some malware to me in the contract, it's a fairly loose contract. I've checked it against the other station personnel contract that I was able to access on personal devices and yours is unusually free of loopholes or deception. I would guess that such a loose contract would prevent them from being legally bound to defend you in the event of your capture. With as few ties as possible to Polaris, in effect, it gives them plausible deniability. There's likely a deeper game here being played, but nothing that would conflict with your allegiance to the UCH. Alright Ida, I do, do I need to actually sign anything? No Commander, I registered it and returned a copy of the contract. I also included their own malware packet in the signature. I thought you'd like that. Good work, Ida. Wish I'd thought of that myself. Okay, Administrator, everything's been signed and sent back to you. Yes, I can see that. Everything appears to be in order. Welcome to the company, Gambit. I hope you'll use... You'll be a valuable asset to us. Your employee number is 83764555466. Memorise it. It's your... Import, it's more important than your life now. As you know, I have a job for you already. <laughs> Eight three seven six four five five four six six. It's a time sensitive one, so I hope you have a ship nearby. Uh, have a ship ready. Come and see me when you're ready to take on the mission. We can talk about the payment afterwards. I want to know where you sent my people for doing anything. So you can skip out on a contract. I don't think so. You'll do this job for us before you get anything. But be grateful. It's an important job. And not scrubbing toilets. See me when you're ready for the job details. You better have the answers when I'm finished. Okay, whatever this job is Administrator Paveril has, it's likely illegal. It would be wise to be prepared with a suitable vehicle and supplies before accepting it. Okay. So, he's talking about a ship. Bertram's Arms. Close your mouth. Breathing all the air. Welcome to Bertram's arms. I'm not the man himself, but I am his cousin. <laughs> I can get you a pretty sweet deal on weapons and tech if that's your jam. So what are you looking for today? Here to shop. Hunter. Ooh. He saved for five minutes. Cool. Uh... Okay, so nothing of use. Brilliant. Okay. Uh, I don't know what to suggest, to be honest. We've not got any Bluetooth on our vessel, have we? So, do we have anything we can sell? Um, oof. Got that and that and a pistol upgrade kit. I think we should probably work on. Um, do I need cash machine? Do I need. Um, yeah, we should probably work on getting the uh, a base or something up and running, shouldn't we? 
Uh, beautiful. Okay. Okay, so let's not accept this just yet. Uh, because we are not ready. Have a little fly around just in case we can find a POI or something we can take over. Uh, to maybe start a base. Like that heat signature over there. Providing it's out of the... Uh... Oh, it's a ruin. Yeah, not really ideal. Not really anything there either. Okay. Not a bad little SV, this one. It's, uh, it does the job for when you're first starting out. Some more plant protein, actually, while we're here. I don't know what we've got in the uh, in the fridge. Yeah, <laughs> a whole lot of nothing. So yeah, let's uh, grab a few bits. We're gonna to have to go mining as well. I do enjoy the starts, uh, start of these, these new games. I don't think I actually enjoy them more than the end game, to be honest. Mind you, I've never really got to the full end games, <laughs> so I don't really know. What else have we got? Anything useful? Really? steps do sound like you're being followed, don't they? Okay, where's the ship? Sweet, now we'll have some of that as well. Oh, two of them. Beautiful. Some berries. That copper rock over there. Yes, it is. Any more for any more. Take all this graphite though for the carbon substrate. Not seeing anything else, so. Yep, we'll leave that as it is. Get in the ship and fly away. Uh, we don't actually have... Oh, we do have some energy bars. Oh, brilliant. Plenty of uh, silicon. Graphite. And some iron, finally. Let's uh, convert these. Probably head up to the uh, one of the poles as well, because I think the only chance of us finding uh, cobalt 
Uh, what am I doing? Yeah, it's, it's in the radiated areas. See if we can find those little nodes. Uh, we only, literally only need, like, um, 10 or uh, and that'll do us, so. Get you on the go. Nom nom nom. I wonder whether uh, somebody at, at Elyon actually f recorded themselves eating something. Nom 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 nom. <laughs> Alright, let's pop you in there, you in there, you. wonder what that was then. So carbon, so we need 1,200 carbon substrate, which uh, shouldn't be too bad with all the uh, graphite rocks on the floor. And there is a deposit there, actually, we could just take. Um, in fact, can we make... Can we make... Not unlocked it yet. The mechanical drill. And we better have. Uh, let's have an assault rifle. Uh, mechanical drill, please. Is there anything of any use in here? We'll take you. Uh, that's that is it. Okay. It's good, so we can get some graphite now, at least. Boom. There you go. Knife, you, you are going straight in the in the workshop. We don't like you. We don't like the knife. Okay. Perfect. Pop you away. Uh, what are we missing? Carbon substrates. Oh, excellent. Uh, well, I'll tell you what, actually. We'll start mining before we... Before we take that. Okay. Um, yeah, let's get some graphite. Well, at least that's the big one done. Take a couple of trees as well and start some biofuel because we don't have uh, we don't have much fuel either. Go go go! small one so it shouldn't take too long although with this uh, with this drill it probably will yeah I'll, I'll let I'll come back to you in a minute <laughs> okay we've got uh, 
200 graphite for now. So let's just get you constructing. Um, yeah, I'm in two minds, really. Uh, what to build first? I don't know whether to go for a base first. I don't know whether to build this HV first, which is like a little mini mobile base, the tick. Um, or whether we go for the SV. I think we might go for the tick. Um, just because it's the cheapest out of the lot. And it gives us a little bit more storage. And it has got a turret on top. So um, we could maybe stick this to the tick in case we need it. Because that job does require an SV. Apparently. Um, so. Yeah, we'll have to see. We'll have to see. So what, what else have we got around here? We could probably do with going to find um, some ore deposits. call you off pop you in you in running out of space running out of space I think we might go for the tick first. To be honest, it's not a bad little HV. Um, yeah, we'll uh, we'll go through that one when we bring it in. Okay, so let's see if we can find uh, a couple of deposits. But we'll head to the south as well. See what we've got. Ruin Prometheum, that's always going to be handy, but we'll we'll leave that one for now. We'll come back for you. Abandoned POI, there we go. There was bound to be one sooner or later, wasn't there? Come on, don't be in a don't be in a abandoned abode or whatever it is. Random workshop. Uh, we've got a pistol. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, we've got a pistol. Haven't really got any space to store anything, though, have we? So it's fine. We'll put most of it in the workshop anyway. So let's turn the thrusters off. Um, how are we doing? Oh, we're being greeted already. Ah, jump in my face. Indeed. I do love this pistol, it makes it actually feels like a pistol. You actually feel like you're uh, you're shooting something rather than the little uh little old white one that used to be on the vanilla game. In fact it might even still be on the vanilla game. I do. Whatever this job for Par Paravel is, it's likely to be illegal. Yeah. Just reminding me that I need all the resources. Fine, we've got plenty of cobalt here, so uh, let's put the SV back on. And use that as a bit of a material dump. So not too much of it. You need to keep some. Uh, let's pop you down, I think. Uh, not you. Need you. Yeah, that's so, it. Go in the fridge. Uh, yeah, actually, can you make me... Can you make me an assault rifle and a few rounds? Uh, you can do that. 
while we collapse this floor. Hey. That balls. Okay, what we got? Spiders. A spitty spider. Okay, we're out of ammo. Oh crap, we're really out of ammo. Oh, we should have really, uh, should have really crafted a shotgun, shouldn't we? Uh, let's just see if we can get back up. Oh, oh yeah. Uh, in fact, can you break me a shotgun as well? That way we got all bases covered. Titanium plates as well. Uh, shotgun. Okay. Get rid of these first, then we'll come back for the shotgun. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's so good. It's the pulse rifle model as well, isn't it? Yeah. It is. Isn't there something in there? Yeah. Balls! Take the ammo. And I'll take all the ammo. leave you shut for now. Do we know what's in there? Uh, this is on the wall, isn't it? It is on the wall. 2242 two, or something like that. Two, twos and fours in it. There's definitely twos and fours in it. We didn't need a shotgun after all, did we? There's uh, more than sufficient. Although, as a backup. Loving the meds, loving the meds. Oh yeah, forgot about that. So that opens the door downstairs. Got some bread. Uh, okay. Four four. Yeah, it's four four two four. Is it four four two four? Yeah, it's close enough. Oh, beautiful! That's half of our SV right there. SV, HV, whichever we go for. Yeah, we'll come back for you. Yeah, there's not actually much in this POI, but, uh, you know, some basic resources, it's pretty good. Pretty good. <laughs> Luckily, I was facing that way. You nearly caught me out. Nearly. Oh, yeah. Spiders. Wasn't there a... Um, a legacy thing that ran at you as well? Or was that just... That just me? Son of a... You... Oh. 
so angry. I'm so angry. <laughs> no. This is going to be our first death. Is it first death? Oh no, we've died twice. <laughs> I don't know why I thought it was our first death. Oh, isn't there a bathroom there, actually? Ah, oh, so annoying. No. Okay, let's, let's get rid of that. Uh, no. We're trying to poop it out. The bandages. Have you? Oh, we're just dying. Uh, yeah, we 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 got nothing on it. Okay, fine. Well, we'll just we'll just die. God damn it! I knew that he was there as well. I didn't know he was there there, but I knew he was about. It's so annoying. Come on, I'll just die already. Get it over with. Take the loot with me. say a funky looking ship um uh, survival tent no no current location we must have a survival tent now somewhere that i forgot to pick up fantastic what are you medicinal growth oh really uh, okay shotgun check Medicinal growth, you can go in the fridge. And we have no ammo. Because everything's in my bloody bag. That's okay. In fact, I don't know why I did that. Because I could just jump up. But <laughs> never mind. Using the tools we have available, that's all it is. That's all it is. Hello, legacy friends. Let's have a complete reload. No sniper. Uh, we've got pistol, though. We'll use those rounds on this. Hello. No. Oh. No. Yeah. <laughs> oh! I will not die again. Oh shit, there's three of them. This got insanely harder. I'm pretty sure it's uh, it's <laughs> it wasn't this hard originally. Damn it! This is like one of the basic POIs, and I've died in it. The hell are you? Look behind the wall. Okay, well died in it. Advanced upgrade kit. Restroom, refined pentaxid and some gold. Okay. Um, I'll have to come back for that because we cannot fit it anywhere. Can we make... We can't. We'll have to go back up, uh, up top see if we can make a cast or something because I've seen that in the uh, in the crafting tree somewhere. Apparently having a broken leg hinders your jetpack as well. No 
Okay. We can do this. We can do this. Come on. Oi! Oh, no, we can't. <laughs> we can't. Come on. Go. Oh. Oh, you son. Um, okay, we are in a bit of a predicament. We can't get out. Um, yes, we can. Yes, we can. There's nothing in here that will heal my broken leg, is it? Can we even get up here? Oh my god. <laughs> We're getting so angry. He's so angry. Okay, jetpack is full. There we go. Right, okay. Uh, yeah, if we go around um, to, to the other side, there's a, there's a ladder, isn't there? A ladder exit. Where that Goomba killed us, where all this problem started. Got in there. Oh, an armor boost. That would have come in useful before, wouldn't it? I'll we'll come back for you. What we might do is we might just uh, take this over as a little base for now, because it's got constructors in it, it's got things that we need, so um, we just need to create. Or what, a salvage core, at least. Uh, so, you duh. Nope. Still looking? Nope. Iron. Okay. Um, right. Medical cast. Bone. We have bone. And carbon substrate. Well, this didn't go as I planned. <laughs> it didn't go as I planned at all. Um, yeah, I think I might work towards the uh, towards the HV. Let's pop cobalt in. Imagine if we've got enough, we might as well. Might as well. Um, yeah, yeah, it was. Is that enough cobalt? Yes, it is. Absolutely, bang on. Perfect. So what else do we need? Um, we make some carbon substrate. Silicon. Iron. Copper. We could have this in soon, ladies and gents. We could. But we probably will, to be honest. I do wish these had a little, uh, little Wi-Fi unit on them. I get why they don't, because it would make it a little bit too easy. Um, but maybe if it was just a small radius. A, you can't even access it from here, so... Just a small radius would do. Okay, so salvage core we've got. Um, can you make? No, we haven't unlocked it yet. That's fine. Uh, I was going to say, uh, not a sentry gun, the other one, Gatling cannon. Uh, we've got. We haven't got any health either, have we? We've got nothing, ladies and gents. We have nothing. Okay, cast acquired, which takes health off you as well, apparently. Uh, meat, we don't need. Uh, what do we need? Food, we don't need. We need health. We need health. How do we make bandages? Plant protein. 
have some plant protein. Make some bandages, please. One bandage. Okay, that's fine. Better than nothing. Uh, can I make another ten of you. Thank you. Pop you in there. Actually. Okay. So let's head. In fact, we might as well put the core here, actually. Yeah, put the core there. We can try and remember it when we leave. Uh, this is all okay. Yeah. Beautiful. Nothing else in here. Have we killed you then? We're we sticking through the wall. Must have killed him. Yeah, okay, let's take you. Is that hydrogen? Also vaults. No, can't put them in. Uh, okay, we'll leave you for now as well. We see what's upstairs. It's lies. Two two four four two two. There we go. Just so you know. And you probably already did know. You lot are so more knowledgeable in this game than I am. Nothing up here, is there? No. It's just bead. Okay, we're full. So let's dump you. Give it well. Okay. Looks like iron's going to be our uh, biggest hinder. That we can get from just collapsing a lot of stuff from in here. What I might do actually is make a. Uh, Should have made a multi tool. Should have done a lot, really. Like, not die. <laughs> not that. Uh, not sitting very well, that one. Not sitting very well. I don't mind dying. But when it's my own fault. Quite infuriating. Uh, okay, pop you. Concrete. Don't need that. in here. Iron. Valuable, valuable iron. Don't need you.
Not far off. Far off. Um, okay, so. Yeah, I think we will stick with that, actually. I think we will stick with that. Oh, very close. Oh, very close. A few boxes left up here. Now we're on fire, apparently. Why are we so hot? sit in our cockpit for a minute before we burn up. Don't want another death, do we? Uh, right, can you make... Yes, you can. Some of you as well. Uh, we're definitely going to need something before we leave here because uh, we've got that much stuff now. We can't, we can't carry it. Uh, put some of you in. Yeah, we're pretty low actually. Steel plates. Oh, we're good on iron. Okay. Electronics. Yep, so it's just copper, really. Just copper. I don't think we've got enough. Take you actually and put you in the fridge. Back up. Yeah, carbon substrate's not a problem. Not a problem, he says as we run out. <laughs> uh, so much better. Beautiful. I think that might actually be it. Uh, what else is carbon substrate? I have to leave this here and go find a copper deposit, I think. So you got copper in. I think you're silicon, are you? Yes, you are. Yep, let's go find a copper deposit. Go back for this lot. Talon. Now uh, we've got down there, head to the south. Hopefully one of these is a copper deposit. Saves us trying to find the rocks on the ground at this stage. Now we have the almighty mechanical drill. Uh, ruin, graphite. There is copper on this planet, isn't there? Yeah, there is. Going to be Promethean or something? Graphite again? Oh, okay. a bit further around see what we can find yeah, one of these has got to be copper 
Beautiful, fantastic. We haven't travelled very far. Oh, are these all herbal leaves as well? I think they are. Raptors. Hello. Oh, take all these. Yes, we will. Bandages for days. Oh, where are you? Where are you? You're stuck in the tree. Please don't jump out on me. Please just let me get my copper, and then I'll be out of your way. Please. So nervous. No. No, okay. You can hear him. The worst part. Bit. Let's pop down our constructor. You start cooking. Have a little bit more. Yeah, I think as we've got the uh, as we've got the copper, we might as well go straight for the SV. I think so. It gets us off the ground. It gets us airborne. I can't remember whether there's a Gatling, uh, a Gatling gun on it, though. Hopefully they're, they're not too expensive to make. I'm assuming everything's changed at monetary value, so... I'm not going to be able to see it. Or can we see it on it? SV. No. Is that because we've not unlocked it? SV. Uh, Railgun. Gatling gun. Oh, we have. Yeah, but you can't make it in portable constructor. Okay, so we do need a small constructor. That's fine. Yes. Yes. Oh, beautiful. Okay. Get a little bit more before we go back. That will do us. And that is copper. Done. Fantastic. So we just need 10 silicon and 100 carbon substrate. And that is us. Okay, let's get the hell out of here. You are stuck in the tree somewhere, aren't you? Can't resist. Well, now we're in a safe place. Let's have a look. <laughs> Let's have a look. For science, you know, for science. You are here somewhere. I know you are. There you are.
You're well stuck, aren't you? You. Hello. Stuck in the quicksand. No, we'll leave him. We'll, we'll let him suffer a death. I know, I know. Oh. Uh, right, okay. So, where are we going? Uh, we're going the wrong way. All being well, we've got everything else that we need on site. I'm hoping. Uh, so I'll see when we get back there. Okay, so. What have we got? Silicon we can do. Uh... Carbon substrate we might struggle with. Uh, yeah, it's you. Oh, it is the tick we're doing, isn't it? Yeah. Ah. Balls. Ah, god damn it. <laughs> right, fine. <laughs> Such a. Ah, oh, god, what is up with me today? What is up with me today? Steel plates is fine. Uh, yeah, so we might just need some more carbon substrate then. Fifty copper. Not gonna be able to do that, are we? Okay, we'll stick with the. Oh, we can actually. We can. Means we've got no ammo though, but we can do it. Oh, are you having a laugh? Steel plates. Uh, oh my god. Um, I've really messed up here, ladies and gentlemen. I really messed up. <laughs> I really messed up. What have we got here? Let's see what we've got here. Maybe we've just got enough. Uh, yep, yeah, okay, okay. Night vision goggles. Ugh. <laughs> I just need one more. Uh, steel plates we can get from upstairs. In theory. All concrete. Looking good. Looking good. That carbon substrate. Okay, perfect. So it's 80 carbon substrate. Now, can we get that from cement? I don't think we can. I think we can get cement from stone dust. I don't think we can get it the other way around. Oh. Let's just dig.
Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I I uh, am really out of carbon substrate, and I cannot bring myself to just dig uh, rocks. So I've collapsed everything I can. We've got nothing left, so I'm just going to have to call in the tick. Um, which I mean, it's a good little it's a good little uh, HV, and it will sort us out, and it will get us well on our way quite quickly. So um, bite the bullet, and we'll bring in a HV. Not quite what I wanted, but. Uh, I've got no other option. So here you go, uh, the tick. It is. Uh, this is actually a prefab build. Um, if memory. Oh crap. <laughs> uh, yeah, a prefab build. Um, have a look. I have a million actually. So uh, I can't remember what the um, what the actual name of it was. Um, but yeah, it's on the prefab build list. Um, I'll see if I can find it and I'll, I'll link it in the comments below. Uh, if I remember. Um, just wandering around, I did find some Promethean ore as well. So I'm going to pop that in there. Uh, and that can do what it's doing. Let's pop some fuel in here. Power this beast up. There we go. Then the thrust. But yes, it's a it's a good little good little HV to be honest. Um, it has been through the chop shop, like I say. So it's this it, this the prefab version doesn't look like this. It looks similar, but not quite the same. Um, it's got four drill turrets on. It's got space for a spotlight in there, uh, and obviously we've got the uh, the gat on top. So it does everything we need. Harvest controller, uh, four thousand ca uh, capacity. And then a three half thousand um, container controller as well. Obviously, we've got the fridge, which we will start putting everything into, uh, as well as the container controller. Uh, yeah, you can just you can just go down there. Um, yeah. Okay. So let's make some meat. So what I'll do is I'll get this uh, all loaded up and. Uh, quickly make some meat. Thank you. Yeah, we'll get this all loaded up, and then uh, we will go and accept the mission uh, from Administrator Parvel, uh, and we will carry on with that in the next episode. There we go. Ooh. Same. Uh, not quite. Heat stroke. Really? Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'll see if I can mitigate all this. Um. <laughs> it's just... Not, not gone well today, at all. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, so I apologise for that. But it is what it is. Um, I can't even say we didn't die, because we did. <laughs> so... <laughs> All right. Thank you very much for joining. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. Stay until next time. Please take care. Stay safe. Bye bye.